Um, but Black Keys fans might be familiar with Junior Kimbrough because they did a tribute EP in 2006, uh, Chula Homa. And what's actually and interesting, they did, uh, when Black Keys did Austin City Limits, um, in between mm -hmm. sets, they were doing some bantering and one person shouted out in the crowd, my mind is rambling, which is a Junior Kimbrough song and the Black Keys covered it on, on Chula Homa. But they, didn't, they didn't play it, but uh, I think it's interesting how much of an impact um, Junior Kimbrough's sound has had on the, the, the blues music because even after an artist covers it, they still want to hear it. And I think that's that's great. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 hard with those genres. I feel like it's one of those things where it's like Black people invented those, but then for some reason it's hard for us to jump back in. You know, it feels like there's there's some kind of barrier there. I'm glad that that's, it's seeming like it's starting to change, don't you think? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, I'm seeing a whole lot of, a whole wave of, you know, Black artists coming my way which I haven't seen before, which is which is terrible to say about the music industry. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you know, like art, artists like you, like Ganser, came my mm -hmm. way, and Pom Pom Squad's coming my way, and I'll talk about this person later. Yola came my way, and I think this is just absolutely amazing. I, I love this. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like you know, this is the time period where you know, just like back then, you know, black artists aren't afraid to um, go outside of what black people think you know, a, a black artist should sound like. 